What's up guys? It's reveal day and this is probably the third or fourth time that I have recorded this video. Now I didn't like the third or fourth first takes. Um, so we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it the pacing way. We're running through the shop. We're running through the shop and we're gonna talk about the shop and the name of the shop. So for those of you that are patient enough, that are disciplined enough, that are not going to go straight to the description to get the name of the business, congratulations. Discipline. I appreciate that. Um, so today we're going to talk about the name of the store. Now, the reason I didn't like the previous recordings of this is because I was in my office and I was talking about it and it's just kind of like, and I'm just like, sitting there talking. Yeah. Yeah. So, kind of wanted to bring a little bit more energy to it, a little bit more shakiness to the camera. I'm getting pretty good at looking at the lens, but not actually looking at the lens, looking at the viewfinder. I'm getting pretty good at it. You think I'm looking right into your soul right now, but I'm looking at my eyebrows. Yeah. So, first things first. Um, the name of the store, I'll just, let's just go with it. Let's just do it. So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, the name of the store is a pull from a family member. And this family member passed away in 2015. Um, they had a very successful business. Uh, it was a very um, artistic, crafty, uh, manly business. And there was things I appreciated about him as a person. And... I'm sure there's some members of my family that, if they were to watch this, would be like, fuck. Uh, because he was a acquired taste as a person. And, you know, everybody has their faults, everybody has their demons, the things that they, they struggle with. And he had his. Um, but one thing that this gentleman was very good at was his business. And self uh, reliance and building something from nothing. And that was kind of what I admired of uh, him. Now, he passed away in 2015, motorcycle accident, and he wasn't a young man. He wasn't a young man. He wasn't an old man either. Uh, taken too soon, you know. Um, he probably uh, would have liked to eventually settle some things, I'm sure. But when I reflected upon his life, um, you know, I thought about his struggles as a person. I thought about uh, what he had to overcome, um, what he struggled with. And I looked at, you know, what he made from almost nothing. And, you know, focusing on the better things of people. Uh, he was an incredibly determined person. You know, he had that self-reliance. He had the ability to build something from nothing, uh, to grind it out, because so many people can just look at somebody who's a business owner and be like, yeah, this all just happened by itself. I'm sure as you guys have watched over the last five weeks of me doing daily videos, even though I'm just showing a fraction of what I'm doing, I've been working 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hour days to get this place to where it is. And a lot of it I've done myself. And it's my, it's mine. It's, it's my, this is my journey. And this isn't something that I could give to somebody else maybe someday you know let's say the next step from this that I have a contractor do half this stuff and I don't have to deal with it as much maybe that's the way that we go but I feel like this go around this had to be my doing just all of it there's a lot of things I appreciated about him as a person um, as a businessman and that's where I kind of pulled this name from of the business and his business was in taxidermy and actually was learning that business for a little while from him. And didn't work out because you know, people have their demons, right? I was an 18-year-old kid, couldn't tell me nothing. That whole thing didn't work out, but there's obviously a, there was a different path for me, my own path. And the name of the business, uh, of his business was uh, Trophies Unlimited. He was known throughout the United States. Uh, he had people from Alaska shipping them stuff to get you know done up he paint fish some of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen uh, some of the most beautiful deer mounts I've ever seen 
very, very talented dude. And when I was thinking about what I was going to name my business, which this is a name that I've had for a very long time, um, is Corals Unlimited. So that is the name of the business. Um, I kind of wanted to, you know, show some respect to my uncle uh, for, you know, the things that he accomplished in his life. I know that there's probably some family members of mine that if they were to watch this video and hear me, you know, saying good praise about him, might have a little bit of issue with that, but um, it is what it is, you know. So he died in 2015. Uh, things are going to get, a little, we're going to take a little turn. This is why I wanted to kind of get up and get moving around um, instead of just sitting in an office and be like, um, so he passed away in 2015. Um, it's the first time I really ever dealt with the death in the family. Um, my father passed away in 2016. My grandfather passed away in 2018. So really, outside of one uncle, um, my boy and myself are the only men left in my family. Um, only men left in my family on my mom's side. And, you know, there's just my one uncle on my father's side left. So, part of my, you know, I don't know if it's my grieving, the way I grieve, I usually think about the person, think about their difficulties, the things that they had to overcome, uh, what they accomplished in their life, what, what legacy they left behind, and, you know, what, what they accomplished, what, what did they create, what did they make in their life, what, what, what happened, you know, what caused... If nothing happened, what caused nothing to happen? And kind of just go through that and think about it and then, you know, kind of take that same thought process and apply it to myself and what are people going to think when I, I'm gone? You know, they, the, the old saying goes is a man has two lives. He has the life he has and then the life he has once he realizes he's going to die. A lot of what has been uh, driving me, I'd say driving me as a person, um, a lot of the decisions that I've made over the last, you know, year or so, is my legacy and what I'm gonna leave behind when I'm gone. Um, you know, and there's things that I wanna achieve outside of this. You know, this is a pretty crazy thing. Like, I don't, I don't even think I've really have taken a moment to realize what has happened here. Um, if I can do this, what else can I do? This is my first step in a new life and um, overcoming the past and building, creating something from nothing and seeing where that takes me. Um, this isn't gonna be the only thing I do. I got some plans, man. I got some plans that will knock your socks off. Uh, some that have to do with the aquarium hobby, some that do not. And it's all for my legacy and what I'm gonna leave behind for memories for the folks that, um, that are part of my life. So I want to do this the way I wanna do it. And I want to have a crazy, crazy rest of my existence. And it starts with this. And Corals Unlimited is my store. It's the name of my business that I own, that I have created. And it actually started in my basement. And I have a very old video where I had, I was culturing uh, rotifers. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Um, I was cul culturing Rotties, and I had some big old chunky Rotties, man. And on that bottle, there's a label that says Corals Unlimited. This domain for this website that is in the description below, I've had for, I don't know, like six years now. So if you want to support this dream, if you want to support the next step after this, if you want to be a part of Corals Unlimited, there's a link in the description below. Check the store out. Throw me a like on this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It ain't gonna cost you anything. I am going to do some crazy stuff here. I wanna bring you guys along for the ride. Let's go. All right guys, so one thing that I forgot to mention in my pacing story time out there on the sales floor, uh, the website for the store is the first draft so keep that in mind while you're there uh, this is something that i'm going to have to refine over time and it's about half published i've been sitting in front of this computer 
for the last 12 hours trying to get this where at least some of this stuff is out there published for you guys if you want to do some shopping don't feel obligated um, but for those that do want to you know support the store support what i'm doing here uh, that link is there for you guys but just keep in mind this is the first go it's going to get better i promise all right now it's let's go